Hi, my name is Chris, and I just wrapped up my first day here at CES. In today's video, I'm going to showcase some of the cool gadgets that I saw, as well as talk about some of the overall trends that I noticed. So, let's get started. First up is the Novetto N1. It basically uses facial recognition software to see where your ears are, and then shoots audio waves directly into your ears so that someone two feet away can't hear the same sounds you're hearing. In this clip, the camera is picking up the sounds of water. When I pass the camera away, the camera no longer picks up those sounds of water anymore, but I can still hear them. Pretty cool. Next up is the Mokibo Fusion keyboard. What makes it cool is that the keyboard surface also functions as a touchpad. In this video, you can see that my finger is gliding along the keycaps and it's moving the mouse. The keys also feel really tactile, almost like the MacBook Pros before they came out with the butterfly keycaps. Right now, it retails for $99. Next up is a Target Cypress Hero Backpack. This actually won the uh, CES Innovation Award. Basically, it has uh, a tracker built into the backpack that integrates with Apple's Find My Technologies. So if it ever gets stolen, you can find it. Now, I did ask one of the employees there, you know, why can't I just use an Apple AirTag and put it into the backpack? And this is what he said. So sir, why can't you just put an AirTag in your backpack? Well, if you put an AirTag in the backpack, someone could easily take it out. What we do is we sew it in, so that way if you are going to remove it, you're essentially destroying the backpack. Here we have the Body Friend Phantom Medical Massage Chair. Here it reads your ECG so that it can actually detect whether, you, uh, whether or not you have heart problems such as atrial fibrillation or anemia. Also, it's just a really comfortable massage chair and I got to sit in it for a couple minutes. Felt great. You're not going to believe this, but USPS was also at CES. They unveiled their new mail truck. It's supposed to have double the capacity of what you see on the roads now, and it's gonna come in an electric version and a combustion version. It also kind of looks like a platypus, just saying. Now, BMW introduced their new iX Flow skin, which uses e-ink technology to change the color of the car. This has many different applications, but one of them that was mentioned was that, you know, if it's winter time, they could change the color to black so it captures more heat, and in the summer, they'll change the car to white so it reflects more of the sunlight. And I mean, on a BMW, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Okay, next up, VR Leo is an arcade VR kiosk system. It's got a bunch of games on it. I tried Fruit Ninja and I had a blast, but what makes it cool is that it actually has a self disinfecting system. So after you finish the game, uh, the kiosk pulls the VR headset up into this box, uses UV light to disinfect it, and then brings it back down for the next customer or player to use. Last up is the B Haptics Tax Suit and Haptic Gloves. I listened to a couple songs with this on and it basically felt like holding a subwoofer to your chest. Uh, it, it felt quite amazing. Uh, if you ever tried the Wooja strap or the Wooja vest, it's like that, but full upper body experience. Loved it. So a couple trends I noticed from day one. A lot of AR VR tech, um, especially now that the metaverse is a thing, um, they try to, they're trying to be metaverse compatible. A lot of biometric health data, uh, Wi-Fi sensors that you can report back to your phone, and then also just a lot of beautifully decked out cars. One last thing I noticed was that there were a lot of vendors who were looking for manufacturers and distributors at CES, and also a lot of manufacturers and distributors there looking for uh, companies to produce for. Uh, CES is not just an innovation show, it's a great marketplace for these two groups of people to meet up, exchange info, and produce something. So, something I noticed. That pretty much sums up day one. I am exhausted. I got up at 5 a.m. to catch my flight here to Vegas. I actually logged over 16,000 steps today just walking through the Las Vegas Convention Center. Uh, I'm looking forward to day two. Stay tuned, follow for updates, and I'll see you for the next video.